Grant left of the lane, out to Jordan, another jumper, good. Looks like he's on the driving range. Hey guys, this is Dominique Wilkins. Hey, this is Sean Kemp. This is Gary Payton. Hey, this is Paul Gasol. NBA fans, what's up? This is Vince Carter here. Hey, what's up? This is Matt Barnes. If you're an old school NBA fan like I am, make sure you check out the basketball time machine with my man Sean Davis. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Sean David and I welcome you to the Basketball Time Machine, your hopefully favorite old school NBA show. In today's episode, I want to take a look at Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen. Now, most of you guys remember that Scottie Pippen came out a while ago saying that he wanted to be remembered as the best player ever. And obviously we know that this is not true and maybe it was even a joke, but um, you know the media, many people talk about it, think that Scotty was 100% serious. And I thought, okay, let's take a look and compare Michael Jordan and Scotty Pippen and see if Scotty was actually better in some aspects of the game. So this is what we're gonna take a look at in this episode. But before we start, like the video if you enjoy the content and subscribe to the channel. All right, you guys, let's go for it. So how am I going to approach this video? Now I thought let's categorize everything and I want to I want to start with offense. Now the first thing that I want to talk about is shooting. Who was the better shooter, Scottie Pippen or Michael Jordan? And I got to be honest, it was a little bit closer than I expected. Uh, with the three-point shooting, they, they were pretty much about the same level. But the mid-range game, we all know that Michael Jordan was in a class of his own. And with all the difficult shots that he made and with all the easy shots that he made, he was a very, very reliable shooter. And people always say, oh, he was not a great three-point shooter. He was okay. He was not great, but he was also not bad. Scottie Pippen had a higher volume when it came to shooting from the outside. But when you take a look at the percentage, they were pretty much the same. So so I would give the nod to Michael Jordan simply because he was the all-around better shooter. The next aspect that I want to take a look at is the versatility. Now, there is probably no category which is as easy as this one. Michael Jordan, offensively, his versatility was unparalleled. No, nobody was on his level. If, if it comes to the artistic shots, if it comes to the mid-range, obviously we talked about it. If it comes to uh, finishing at the rim, the post game and everything, Michael Jordan was the total package. And Scottie Pippen was a very, very versatile offensive player, but Michael Jordan was simply the greatest in that category. So that category also goes to MJ. The next category is passing. And the one thing that I always remember is that many people say, oh, Michael Jordan was not a great passer, and that's bullshit. Michael Jordan was a very, very good passer. And I don't even go by numbers there because now Jordan and Pippen were pretty much about the same level career-wise when, uh, when it comes to assists. But Michael Jordan, was his job was to score. If there was an open man, he would find them. I mean, there are countless evidences on, on, on YouTube. Just go for it, watch the full game. You see that he was a willing passer. If somebody was open, he would pass. Scottie Pippen, to me, is still the better, slightly better passer because his game was more towards finding his teammates, getting his teammates involved. And that's the thing. Scottie had a different job than Michael Jordan. And so that one has to go to Scottie. Even though the numbers are pretty much the same, I will still give it to Mr. Pippen. The next one that I want to talk about is the clutch place. Now, also an easy one. Michael Jordan was the clutchest player of all time in the category with, I don't know, Larry Bird, for example, Le Reggie Miller. They're only a handful of those kind of guys. Um, Scottie Pippen once said that he felt like he never had the chance to develop that clutch this gene or whatever you want to call it and you'll be surprised if you go on youtube you find there are a lot of games where scotty actually had the last shot but he didn't make too many of them would he have would he have had more opportunities if it wasn't for jordan absolutely would he have had the chance to improve that aspect of his game absolutely but comparison we got to be fair that one goes to mj too Now let's get to my favorite part, defense. The first category will be on-ball defense. And Jordan was an insane on-ball defensive player. And 
even though there are some players like Rashid Wallace who say that Jordan was just an okay defender. Don't know what Rashid, is, uh, what Rashid is talking about, but that's bullshit. But here, to me, still the difference between Scotty and Jordan is a little bigger because to me, Scotty's probably the best on ball defender of all time. And we got to give credit where credit is due. The funny thing is that even players like uh, Isaiah Thomas, who were bashing Scotty Pippen for so many years in the past couple of years, um, now comes out and says, yeah, Scotty was uh, was in a league of his own. And yes, I feel so the same way. Uh, there's Scotty Pippen. Then below that is Dennis Rodman. Dennis Rodman's advantage is uh, was that um, he could defend multiple positions, which Scotty could also do, but Rodman could guard position one to five. Scotty, the five position, I don't think so. But Scotty was insane. I mean, Magic Johnson, finals, 91. The next category is help side defense. And this one I have to give to Michael Jordan. Now we know Scotty was also sensational in, in uh, playing help side, but that was Jordan's expertise. And the funny thing is that there are some NBA players who don't give a credit for, for that aspect of Jordan's game, which to me shows like, okay, if you are a real student of the game, you know how important for team success help side defense is. And if you take a look at the amount of steals that Michael Jordan ha uh, had, a lot of them were through help side defense. And there are some players like Kenny Smith who gave Jordan the credit in that, in that regard. So that one has to go to MJ as well. Now the next categories are all a wash. Blocking, stealing, and rebounding. Stat-wise, they all look the same. Now Jordan was shorter, so Maybe and because he was playing the shooting guard, maybe it's more impressive that he got um, the same amount of rebounds. I don't know. But in all fairness, I think they were on, on the same level there. Um, great stats for their position. Great stats for players who would still average a lot of points and did so many things in the game. That just showed how effective and versatile and, and, and valuable those guys were. They could literally do it all. And I don't, I don't want to say that one was better than the other. I say it's a wash and um, well-deserved for both players to be in the highest categories on the planet. Next category, basketball IQ. I would slightly Slightly, slightly, slightly. No, I, I just want to say I would give that one slightly to Michael Jordan, but but Pippen was also smart. I give it slightly to Michael Jordan. Slightly, like 0 0.001. Both are players with the highest basketball IQ that you know in, in the category of a Larry Bird. And the only reason why I wanted to give the nut to Michael Jordan is because Michael Jordan had that, I, I want to say, Okay, if I do this and I can destroy him in that way, there's this little mental edge, if you want to call it that. So, Michael Jordan, slightly, slightly. And the last one, and that one is also an easy one, mental toughness. Scotty learned how to be tough through Michael Jordan, and that's not even a knock. Everybody learns some somewhere how to improve. Jordan got his mental toughness through all the battles with his brother, so he developed it f through that influence. Scotty developed mental toughness through Michael Jordan, but it took Scotty a couple of years. It took Scotty a couple of years. But there are Jordan, Bird, those, those guys, you put them in a room against the whole army and they will still come out on top. And that mentality, there are only a handful of those players and Scotty was not at on that level, which is not a knock, but Jordan is a league of his own. So to summarize, now obviously Jordan was the better player and Jordan is the greatest player of all time. But the reason why I made this video is just to show that there were some categories where Scotty was on the same level or even better than MJ, which shows again how great Scotty Pippen was. <sighs> I just wish he would handle the whole situation at this uh, at this moment a little bit better. But Scotty, well-deserved flowers. You were better than Jordan in some categories, but no, you were not better than Michael Jordan in total. We all know that. All right. So you guys, let me know in the comments below. What do you think about this video? And hopefully I'll see you next time on the Basketball Time Machine. Charles, you got any advice for me on how to start the season off fresh? Well, your new Foot Locker gear, that's a big part of it. Now you just need a short memory. Short memory? All the greats have short memories.
So when you had a bad game, you just forgot about it? Never had a bad game. You don't remember they used to call you the round mound rebound? Mm -mm. Remember when you threw that guy through the window? I'm a pacifist. What about the time you were... Look, all I know is all the greats have short memories. Scottie Pippen knows. I sure do. And I'm the greatest Chicago Bull of all time. And that's how it's done.